So what happens if you press your trailer brakes in and your trailer brakes don't disengage, but it's not freezing outside, but they're still stuck? It could be that your spring uh, brake release valve is not operating correctly. Uh, that was the case for me. So if you're on the field and you need a quick fix to get going, what you can do is back your slack adjusters off so your, your pads and your drums don't touch each other, and that'll get you going. But once you get your valve, the one you need, if you uh, decide that that might be your problem, uh, this is how you can change it. This is how I changed it on mine. I'm replacing the spring brake uh, valve. This guy right here is responsible for releasing the spring brakes, uh, the parking brake on the trailer. Uh, I forgot to start filming the video, so I already got started a little bit here. I'm um, just taking the fittings off. I took pictures with the camera phone first, so I know how to put it all back together. I'm using a 5 8 wrench to get these off. And uh, I'm filming this by myself today, so it'll just be clip after clip after clip once I make the next step. Uh, replacing it with a new Sealco uh, part number is 110500. I back these uh, these off right here. When I when I go to pull this out, I don't want to damage it. So what I usually do is wiggle it and wiggle it in a circular motion, then pull it uh, pull it back that way until it breaks itself loose. You see here, I bought a couple new plugs to plug the uh, the ports that I don't need to use. But make sure that uh, you will have to take some of these fittings off like this. I'm doing this one right now. So you can put them into the new one. Fittings off, I'm taking the whole piece off right now, slowly, because I still got a little air in there. So I'm going to uh, let that air kind of work its way out before I take it off too fast. These fittings might be tough to get off, so you might have to find a place to, to uh, wedge it into so you can get some uh, resistance when you go to Take some, uh, take some of these fittings off. Voila, here I got on here. There we go. You see what I did? My new one already has one of these uh, screens on it. So I need, to, uh, I need to put this back in and hold this bottom one while I take the top one off. Recommend cleaning all the threads before you put it back in. What I'm going to do is just use a little bit of brake cleaner and a shop towel just to smooth it up. And I'll, I'll, I will reapply more uh, pipe thread when it goes uh, back into the, into the new valve. Here's a very important step. Make sure the new one is plugged up like the old one. See, that one's plugged, that one's plugged. And same thing with the new one. So yours might be a little different according to your application. Go ahead and put the fittings on outside before I, I put the the, uh, the whole valve back on. Putting these other fittings on on the side, 11 16th wrench. So here's a new valve with all the fittings in. Not a super clean job, but clean enough it should get the job done. This is what it will look like before you put it back on. I'm going to put pipe thread, plumber's tape back on uh, back on that right there that the valve is going to mount, mount onto. Put that back on, time to put a little uh, plumber's tape on all these fittings before I connect the airlines back up. Okay, that's what it looks like all hooked up. So time to clean up my tools and uh, power the truck back on, supply the air, and see if I can uh, get these brakes released. All right, there you go. Got the brakes released. How, how did y'all get out here now? If it was jumping, then please don't jump over here. I know y'all got some hard heads.